Okay, so it is being called a once-in-a-lifetime event. Jupiter and Saturn merging in the sky, appearing closer than they have in 400 years. Now, due to the timing, it is now being called the Christmas star. Yeah, joining us now to talk more about all this is astronomer Dr. Lucianne Wachowicz from the Adler Planetarium. Doctor, thanks for being with us tonight. This is really um, an, an exciting prospect. First of all, w we know that, you know, the, the three wise men found the star, and that's where the baby Jesus was in the main do we think that that was the same setup way back when and, and that's part of why we call it the, the Christmas star or is it something else altogether? Well, you know, it's really hard to interpret what people would have thought back then. Um, certainly throughout human history, celestial events such as this one, especially one that's so observable with the mm -hmm. naked eye, not needing any special equipment, so before telescopes even, um, it was interpreted to mean anything from, you know, like a wonderful momentous event to being something that was, you know, not auspicious, um, maybe something to worry about the gods conspiring in the sky. So even though this has happened, and over human history, it's hard to say whether it was um, specifically the Star of Bethlehem or not. But what is sure is that uh, towards the southwestern horizon, we have um, a beautiful view, if you can spot it uh, outside of the clouds, of Jupiter and Saturn, um, not entirely merged, but uh, very close together. All right, so explain a little bit in more detail what folks can expect to see, meaning in which direction they should be looking at, what the timing, uh, anything like that, any details that you can give us about what to look for. Yeah, um, the most wonderful thing about this, I think, is that you can see it just with the naked eye. Um, the point of conjun conjunction was tonight, so um, you would go out a little bit after sunset and be able to see Jupiter and Saturn, which look like these two bright, sparkling stars. Um, they're planets, but they look like bright stars in the night sky, just above the horizon. And even though, uh, you know, here in Chicago, it's been like pretty cloudy today, yeah. you, can, you can still tune in to see live streams from the Lowell Observatory, for example. Um, and even though the closest approach is tonight, we'll still be able to see these two giant planets sparkling in the night sky over the course of the week as they gradually get further apart. So it's really a wonderful moment for us all to share, looking up at the night sky and watching these two planets move relative to each other. All right, so doctor, we cannot really see this tonight then because of the cloud cover, but on my Instagram feed, I'm seeing people that are you know, pointing their cameras up and you know, they circle it so you can see what it is they're focused on. They're, they're outside of the Chicago metro area. Is there some place you would recommend that folks could go maybe tomorrow night to get a, a better view of this? Really anywhere that you can get a nice view of the horizon, you know, above like trees and buildings, um, you wanna be looking sort of Southwest and just after sunset. So anywhere that you can see the horizon or pretty close to it and that you can get to just after the sun goes down, you should have a pretty good view. And even though they won't be as close together as they will be tonight, um, you'll still be able to see them just beautifully. All right, I love it, very cool. Thank you so much for your insight, Dr. Lucianne Walkowicz with the Adler Planetarium. We appreciate your time.